Hey, how's it going? It's Monday. This shirt, Aimnet, the first startup I ever worked for in 1995. Is anybody watching these a, a former Aimnet coworker? Uh, doubtful. Maybe Rich. Rich, are you still watching? Uh, I don't know why I bring that up. It's just that I happened to notice. Like I forgot what shirt I put on this morning. It's like, oh, here, yeah, how about that? Oh, man, another month. Can you believe it? The year is one quarter of the way over. It's Monday, and it's April 2nd, 6.09 p.m. Current temperature is 67 degrees. For some reason, Weatherbug says 45. Is it 45 or 67, Weatherbug? Weatherbug does think it's 67 now. It's also threatening to rain. Not very hard, but... We got that going for us. It's the day after WrestleMania. Also known as the day when all the traffic to my website from guests plummets. Because people are no longer looking for the bar showing WrestleMania. And somehow ending up uh, at the W. I saw WrestleMania. Sort of. Uh, it was on a laptop screen and it involved hitting refresh a bunch of times. And it may not have been legal. I'm not sure, but I did see it, or I was, I, I saw most of it, parts of it, and it was okay, I didn't think it was earth shattering or great, but that's probably just my experience watching it, if I had been with many friends watching on a giant TV, it probably would have been a much better show, but saying that it was a great show, and a lot of the people who are saying it was a great show seem to be saying it's great because it was better than last year. That's kind of like saying that ice cold piss is better than warm piss. But I still wouldn't want either of them. Now, I'm not saying WrestleMania was, was piss, but, well, except when we got pissed on with that opening match, right? But, yeah, it's okay. I don't know. They really didn't build up a whole lot of goodwill with that opening match. So, I'm one of those people who were affected. That's a match I was looking forward to. And unlike maybe everyone else in the world, I wasn't really looking too forward terribly to the main event, Rock vs. Cena. Despite all the promos, all the build-up, what build-up there was, the fact that we've known it was going to happen for a year really didn't feel like they did everything they could to like make that seem like as big a deal as it was. And I don't know. I, they certainly tried that once-in-a-lifetime special. While interesting, never really made clear what the point of the match was. The point was just to have it. And I guess by saying once-in-a-lifetime, that's to set up kind of the dream match aspect of it. But was this really a dream match? Was this the kind of thing that you were just dying to see? Maybe for a certain type of fan... By which I mean someone not as old as I am, or someone older than I am, I'm not sure which. Rock vs. Cena is a big deal and something to really look forward to. But for me, it just, eh, I don't know. So, at least my expectations were appropriately lowered for the match, and I couldn't have possibly been disappointed. So, in that respect, it must have succeeded. But, I don't know, big deal. It's just kind of, meh, eh. I don't know. I wasn't excited to visit, as excited about it as everyone else was. One person, uh, one complete stranger, tweeted to me saying, three great matches and you're not happy? And I don't even remember saying that I was happy or not. It's just that I thought it was kind of a joke, the closing commentary, to say that the real winners were you, me, and the WWE Universe. I did uh, think that line was stupid and said as much. But don't take that to mean that I totally dissed WrestleMania. On the other hand, three great matches? Ah, three okay matches. The problem I have, and the problem I've had for a long time with these big-time main events, is you could write down a series of spots ahead of time, and as the match goes on, just tick them off one by one. And I guess in this respect, I'm talking mostly about the Undertaker-Triple-H match. 
The only spot that didn't happen, and I'm a little surprised, is we didn't get Triple H attempting a tombstone. Or if we did, I missed it. But those big matches, you can always say, opponent hits finisher and it gets kicked out. Then other opponent hits finisher and it gets kicked out. And you kind of know the ending is not going to come until all these big spots happen. But these big spots are now so predictable that I'm jaded and analytical and can't possibly enjoy it the way you can. So that may be why I decided it was probably not worth an investment of $65 and attempted to see it through other means, which cost less than $65. Again, don't tell me about it. This is me talking here. You can't prove anything happened. Still, at least enough people saw it to have an opinion about it. And I haven't checked the threads this year versus last year. I see this year we're up to 52 posts on the results thread. If I go back and look on the board at last year's results thread, we got up to 71 replies. So that was a 72 post thread. Uh, 52 now, we'll probably maybe match that. I don't know. Do we get more posts if it's for people to say how awful a show was or how great a show was? How about the WrestleMania 26 thread? That one also got 72 posts. Wow. I wonder if we'll get exactly 72 posts this time around. Don't you ruin it by posting more than once. WrestleMania 25, 59 posts. WrestleMania 24, only 49 posts. So I, that may say more about our membership than anything else, that we have people who are invested, who will watch the show, and who will post an opinion about it. But, yeah, I don't know. For being once in a lifetime, I think I, I don't know, I, want, I was expecting a little more, maybe. There, I said it. Also, I did not need to see Burtis Clay call his mama. Or the was it the bridge club or the bowling club? I can't remember now. Who cares? Didn't need it. Anyway. That's me in WrestleMania. So that, you wanted me to talk about wrestling? By God, you got seven and a half minutes of me talking about wrestling. And that's a good thing because I don't think I actually have any comments of yours to respond to other than how Twitter was last night. Twitter wasn't nearly as bad as I expected, probably because so many people were at the show, and those people who were at the show were more interested in watching the show as opposed to tweeting. Good for you, by the way. Um, Uh-oh, I've frozen. Hopefully we're still okay. What was I going to say? That really freaked me out. I think that my laptop is trying to do a backtop. A backtop? A backup while we were talking. And now I've got a post. All right, three DS, DS releases. I'm interested in that, and I'm going to go click on that right now. I'm trying to log in to YouTube to see if I have anything, because you can tell I really prepared ahead of time. One thing that was nice about having WrestleMania on the laptop was I was able to watch the Timberwolves lose to the Trailblazers on the TV. The, the loss wasn't nice, but watching the game was nice. Tonight we got the Kings one more time. And I reckon it'll be kind of like yesterday's game, where the, the team that we've pretty much had our way with all year, but now that we're in trouble with injuries, we'll probably lose again. Currently four games under 500, and the playoffs are not looking like a possibility, which is good for the bank account, but not as much fun when you're a fan. Only one game this week at home, uh, Wednesday. And before Otto gets too mad that I'm talking about the Timberwolves, I'm going to close it off and say that I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. As usual, you can leave comments in the usual spots. I will probably find them. And you can learn more about me at coz.net. I have one comment. Amazing hair. I think my hair falls out faster than it grows, so it will never be that long. Never cut it, please. Uh, that's from Viv2600 at YouTube. Viv, if you stuck around this long... Here's some more hair for you. I'll see what I can do about not cutting it. I promise.
Bye, everybody.